podcast brings together philanthropic support and social investment in new ways to help keep artists in community. One of the adages in real estate is that if it's too good to be true, it probably is. And so you can imagine my hesitation when I was first brought to this building and it was still built out as an adult cinema and I'm standing in the basement and having a person tell me, yeah, there's a foundation that wants to put up all the money to buy this building and underwrite the renovation so that this can be Counterpulse's new home. Then they're gonna give you seven years to raise it back, buy them out, and then your organization will own the building. Feeling like, is this too good to be true? The significance of owning Owning space is deep. I feel it from the artists who work at Counterpulse. There's this sense that like, this is our space and it's taken serious how we're gonna hold it, the caretaking and love that the community has for the space. It's really inspiring. CAST is a great partner with the public sector in many ways. So what CAST offers is this vehicle for holding an asset in trust, something that the government has a really hard time doing and certainly can't do in a nimble fashion. Really the only way we get out of this cycle of affordability challenges for space is if we get ownership into the hands of arts and culture organizations. So that was something that London was really attracted to by the CAST model and they actually adopted it and now have created their own version of CAST and they're modeling it across the entire country. Has real beauty is its potential to scale, thinking to the future. What's particularly exciting, when they buy back that building from CAST, what CAST will do is then recycle those funds over and over again in the Bay Area community in other projects, providing service, capacity building, and knowledge building, as well as affordable space in perpetuity. 